was to put forests in the carbon market. And that's called in UNE's RED, reducing emissions from deforestation and degradation. But indigenous peoples and a lot of other peoples call it reaping profits and eviction from evictions, land grabs, deforestation, and destruction of biodiversity. And there's this great booklet which was put together by Indigenous Environmental Network, um, which explains all about uh, how terrible putting forests in the carbon market is, both for the environment and for Indigenous peoples and forest-dependent peoples. Now, this has a lot to do with the carbon traitors, or traders, um, that will be uh, partying uh, this week, because it turns out that red is the cheapest way to buy permits to pollute. So um, it is a burning issue, pun intended. And uh, for those of you who are just getting your big toe wet in this ghastly um, onslaught, but which is also, you know, an opportunity for hope and visualization and transformation, um, I put together this little flyer that's called the Sky Defenders Library, which uh, has some suggestions for places to get information about false solutions to climate change and RED. That so um, I really urge you all to check out RED Monitor. Australian television um, just uh, posted this uh, report uh, which uh, interviews an uh, indigenous man from Papua New Guinea who was kidnapped and forced at gunpoint to sign away the um, carbon rights of his community's forests to the kingpin of carbon traders. Uh, uh, indigenous peoples uh, live in the majority of the forests of the world and read um, could be, you know, the, the largest land grab of this century and um, the human rights violations that are already occurring are, are really, really grave. So I urge you all to uh, look into this and step up to the plate.